Hi out there guys, um, working on a 1966 Dodge Monaco 500, uh, putting it back together, uh, painted the engine block uh, hemi orange, uh, all new head gaskets, uh, all gaskets have been replaced, timing cover, timing chain, cam, um, just a, a freshening up of all the new gaskets and carburetor, of course. But we brought this car up from uh, West Virginia, Barbersville, West Virginia. It was a six hour drive down, a six hour drive back. Uh, used my 99 Dodge Ram pickup truck and a U Haul car dolly to bring it back from uh, West Virginia. So this is the newest project that I've been working on and uh, it didn't look like this whenever uh, I started. I can guarantee you that it was, it looked like that, but worse. Um, uh, it's a pretty low mileage car. I don't know if it has, from what I understand and what we were told, uh, the mileage on it is is correct. It's not been uh, turned over on the mileage on the odometer. But uh, we did the I did the valve covers, uh, the Hemi orange, the metallic. Uh, you can't see it because uh, because of the neon light lighting. You, it hides it. But out in the sunlight, these. These are going to really look nice and really, really pop. But, yeah. Um, I just wanted to make a video and show you guys what I'm working on now. And, uh, I'd like to find a way to, and I know I keep saying this, but I'd like to find a way to, uh, record myself as I do things so you guys can actually watch me doing doing it as I'm working you guys can see how I go about restoring everything um, every single bolt every single nut everything is back to where it's supposed to go um, and it's been cleaned in a wire wheel. I didn't paint the bolts. I don't like to paint the bolts. Because uh, you're going to be putting wrenches and sockets on them. Sockets and wrenches. And it's just going to, you know, it's going to hurt the paint. So why paint them? Uh, this car isn't going to be seen any more winter. No more winners. Um, it's going to be a summertime only driven car. But yeah, it's a very, very, very pretty car. It's a Monaco 500 with the bucket seats and console floor shift. It's only got, let's see how many miles are on it. Let's see if you guys can see it. Mm, barely make that out. Mm, it's only got 82,412 miles. Really nice, nice car. All of the interior is going to have to be redone. Um, but an old guy owned this car. Uh, guy bought it when he was uh, about my age and enjoyed the car. Uh, then he passed away and his wife held on to it and wouldn't sell it. Uh, she had many offers. Many people offered her money for it and she just would not get rid of it because it was her hu husband's only pride and joy. Uh, she knew how much he loved this car. And uh, we have the hubcubs in the trunk. I'll show you those. 
But uh, then she passed away, and his brother then took over the car, and with the intentions on restoring it, but never got around to it. But he said that uh, he would take it down to the bottom of his driveway, turn it around, and then bring it back up and pull it back in the garage. <sighs> Here's the hubcaps that belong to it. They're pretty cool. They're really heavy, though. And you guys can see them. There you go. Pretty neat, I think, with the spinners. Pretty heavy. But also really, really super neat. Um, the only rust I've seen on the car really is the the trunk pan is going to need to be replaced. But as far as the floorboards and everything else, that's it. That's the only rust that I've that I've seen besides maybe a little bit of a little quarter rear quarter work. But not much, just a little patch here, there, there. Nothing that I can't handle myself. I did have a vinyl top on it, a black vinyl top. But, and thank God the vinyl top didn't destroy the roof. It still looks pretty good. It's a little dent there, I see. I'm gonna have to get out right there. Price from somebody setting something up on the roof, or God only knows, but Monaco 500 1966 Dodge Monaco 500. Pretty sweet. All right, well, I guess that's it for now. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to lately also have another video with this car before we started before I started the end you know uh, the work on the engine I'll make sure I add that I'm gonna try to add that to this video so you guys can see that also all right well if you like the video just hit a thumbs up and let me know what you guys think should we keep it this color or should we change the color what do you guys think let me know i want to know what you got what your guys' thoughts are he's gonna have to send out all the chrome work and have it re -chrome, but he's he's not uh wasting any money as far as the car is concerned so uh, alrighty then I uh, hope you guys like this video trying to save them keep them from the crusher they don't make cars like this anymore alright over and out